we've been using empty parens arrow void to mean accepts no parameters and returns nothing. But you can replace that void with any type of data to force the closure to return a value. To demonstrate this, we can write a travel function that accepts a closure as its only parameter, and that closure in turn accepts a string and returns a string. Func travel action closure accepts string returns string. Print I'm getting ready to go. Let description equals action London. Print description. Print I arrived. End the function. Now when we call travel using trailing closure syntax, our closure code is required to accept a string and return a string. Travel, place string, return string in. Return, I'm going to place in my car, closing brace.